Good evening, it's the 30th of January 2022 and I recently um, uh, made some changes in my imaging setup. I've switched over to the Takahashi uh, for some wide field imaging of um, I want to do the Horsehead, Pleiades and Rosette Nebula and I believe they'd be better shot at f5 than f6.3 um, also the Takahashi has a built-in field flattener which is good because at the moment I don't have a field flattener for the astrophysics. I will buy one eventually but at the moment I don't so there's a bit of field curvature on that scope. Now I've got an off-axis guider now uh, hooked up to my main imaging camera and that's on the Takahashi now and um, this is uh, the ASI Air through Bluestacks. I'll just get rid of this message. and it's taking an exposure in luminance. You can see the L there selected on the filter wheel. This is my guiding at the moment through the off-axis. Now we're doing 600 second exposures, 10 minutes per channel. Uh, so we'll do 10 minutes luminance, 10 minutes red, 10 minutes green, 10 minutes blue. Then we'll repeat until you know we build up some signal. Uh, it's tracking well through the off-axis guider. Uh, interestingly when you hide the graph you can see some out of focus stars in the middle which is kind of weird but there's a bunch over here that are in focus like here 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 and here so and even up here so uh, yep don't quite know they might be because the prisms a bit too tall or a bit too high maybe and they're getting doesn't matter don't know don't care it's tracking nicely 0.1 in RA and deck total error of 0.15 arc seconds 135 seconds to go and we'll have our luminance then it'll refocus and jump over to red and green and blue um, like I said we'll uh, we'll get that data as soon as we can I'll just pause the video and I'll be back just before this exposure drops in and I'll be back soon I'll pause the video uh, we're getting there 20 seconds to go uh, the other good thing about tonight is it's the first clear night we've had with uh, no moon so a, a very small moon at least which is rising quite late so there's luminance beautiful so it'll jump over to red it's dithering at the moment and then it will uh, there's a bit of a flare on that star but uh, it's a very bright star by the way that's Alnatak, attack I think um, but that image is okay. It's a bit. Um, I still haven't quite deleted all the vig netting, but that is about as yeah, close as I can get the camera to the the back of the uh, field flattener. I think I can get rid of that with. I'll start doing flat frames, I think, and just calibrate it out. Uh, it was just my alarm. So it's dithering, and then it'll settle, and then it'll refocus. Now, I've got my gain set to 120, that's correct, yep. Just checking my gain, it's refocusing, and we're on red, moving on to red. I love the autofocus routine in this thing, it's really good, it does the half flux. Um, their method so the Takahashi has a very narrow critical focusing zone so it's important to refocus I reckon every filter change every 10 minutes especially on a warm day uh, that thing will go out of focus with very little change in temperature so as the night gets progresses the scope cools down and yeah, the focusing will go out. You can already see the focus is out. It's um, between that first shot and now, so. But. Yeah, we just refocus every 10 minutes. And that should be good. It's just finishing off the V curve. love this new technology this new way of doing stuff god I remember back in the day when I used to use film cameras and 
we didn't have computers or auto guiders and uh, yeah the times have changed man it's it's really cool what you can do now I'm in my office I'm not even in the observatory just chilling out here doing everything remotely uh, amazing all right we're almost at the focal point it's getting close All right, now we're jumping back. That's finished. That's the focus position, 36423. And it will start accumulating red. So that you can see it's up on the up here on the red filter and it's now doing another 10 minute shot. I'll be back uh, in 10 minutes and I'll show you that one. Then we'll be doing green and blue. Then we'll start again. We'll just keep running them through. We'll just get as many 10 minute shots as we can. If we can get six of each, then we have an hour hour per channel. That'd be neat. Um, yep, thanks for watching. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, so we're counting down the last 17 seconds of the red shot, and it should display the red. It's guiding well still. Um, very, very nicely guiding. And in a few seconds, we should briefly get a glimpse of the red shot before it goes to refocus. Here we go. So that's the red. Looks okay to me. It's dithering. And when it starts to refocus, I'm going to go out and just adjust the roof a little bit because I'll need to sort of keep it, keep it moving that a little bit every so often. Looks like a little satellite went through the image vertically down. You can just make out a line there. Um, so it's dithering still. I'll pause the video uh, when it goes, when it changes, when it starts to focus I mean. I'll pause it and go out and move the roof and then I'll come back again in 10 minutes and show you the, the, next, the next photo, the green one. Should be just about ready for the refocus. looks much better through the red filter you get a lot more of that hydrogen alpha now it's refocusing I'll pause it I'll adjust the roof and I'll be back in 10 minutes okay we've got 44 seconds remaining before we see our green shot check out the tracking pretty neat um, 0 0.05 RA 0 0.05 DEC total error 0 0.07 arc seconds not bad not bad at all. 26 seconds KO. And we'll see green. Okay, here we go. Here we go, green. So that's tracked not too bad. You can see that this is part of the nebula is not much not much green in that part of the nebula. It's just dithering. And it will then move on to blue after a refocus. So I can see another satellite has come in on an angle through here. That's all right. Okay focusing again I'll pause it and I'll be back once the blues done back so okay our blue shot is coming through right about now so that's our blue photo and uh, we've finished our sequence of four images let's pause this hang on 
just uh, coming up on our second luminance shot in 20 seconds 16 uh, once we get this shot I'm going to stop the video because it's been a 10 minute video and you've seen L R G B and L again so uh, it's just going to be more of the same here we go luminance 2 too bad okay so that's the end of the video um, it's obviously moving on to red again I'm gonna keep going like I said until uh, either the weather clouds over or till the sun rises so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one and yeah bye for now